Communications. Hi, I'm Amy Hulsher, and I am one of the founders here at RISE. Over 14 million older adults are admitted to the hospital each year in the United States, and 85% of that time is spent lying in bed. But the problem is bed rest is toxic. And starting on day one, your muscles begin to atrophy, you get a lot weaker, and it affects almost every body system that you have. So there's a lot of studies out there showing the benefits of physical activity and early mobility within the hospital setting. And there's patients out there suffering from what's known as hospital-acquired disabilities. And for those patients, such as perhaps Betty, um, they are not back to baseline for over at one year, or 50% are not back to baseline at one year. And despite these studies, there's a lot of barriers. Staff just don't have time, and there's a lot of other constraints within the hospital setting to address these needs. Our solution is readily available right at the bedside. We have a chair component and we have a digital interface that provides customization for the patient, both based on their size and their needs, and provides interaction, real-time feedback, and a, a compelling interactive component. And for providers, therapists, doctors, there's a digital and data component on the back end that they can provide input into and set customizations for what they would like their patients to do. So why now? The American Gerontological Society recently put out um, a call for increased mobility outcome tracking within the hospital setting. And our patients are getting older, they're getting sicker within these settings, and hospital care is moving towards bundled payments and value-based care, and they're starting to pay attention more to mobility. So our value proposition is clear for both the hospital and the patient. For the hospital, we're focusing really on decreasing that length of stay, decreasing staff injury, and for the patients, we are looking to really promote that function, their independence, and getting them back into that home environment. Our business model focuses on that chair component, but also that digital interface, and that would be something based on a subscription model, again, looking towards that value with the reduced length of stay. We have a committed team of both healthcare and engineer components to our team, and we are excited to bring this forward for patients like Betty. Hi, quick question. Yeah. So um, the solution is the chair with the monitor and yes. the handrails. How does that exactly translate into exercise? Yeah, so the main thing we focus on, so one of the big um, components is doing like a sit to stand because you lose your weight bearing muscles the most and the biggest ones are your, your legs. So we really wanted to help assist that, provide a stable environment with the rails. So it, the chair itself can adjust higher and lower, talking with PTs, that's really something they really want. They don't have that adjustability. And then we have the bars that can also adjust to the proper height and provide that safety. And then the sensor components as well that will provide that tracking. Could this maybe be paid under a physical therapy um, session? Um, it could potentially, depending on the environment. Um, some physical therapy is bundled within the existing DRGs, um, but there definitely could be showing a benefit to the, to the insurance companies and maybe potentially seeking out additional um, funding sources for payment. So mostly the hospitals will be, are, the, are the providers, are the ones providing the chair? Yes, yes. Um, they already have a budget for hospital chairs currently existing, and they replace those at routine intervals as they start to break down, so we just kind of tap into those existing systems or new remodels too. And how are you gonna to try to show the decrease in length and stay? Um, so stay? To, to go to market, we would not require clinical trials through the FDA, but we would hope to do post um, FDA clinical trials for that marketing component. And based on the trials that are currently being done at exercise and mobility, we're kind of building off of some of that data to then set a, a, a trial after the fact. So I, I see positives and negatives. Mm -hmm. One of them, it sounded like you would need fewer healthcare professionals with patients. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, it seems dubious to me that you could take the chance that someone wouldn't have a, a fall regardless of how many rails there are on this mm -hmm. and that the insurance costs would be out of sight. Uh, are you thinking of this just in the hospital itself and certainly not at home or are you thinking at home? So our first market we're looking at is in the hospital setting because there's existing payment structures there. We had considered an option for a prescription at home or for that could be assisted living or nursing home components as well. Um, the, the reduction in staff component, um, PTs right now are not seeing 30% of their patients that are on their list anyways. And so, if, and for older people, later in the evening is oftentimes when they come by and they're tired and they don't want to exercise at that point. So typically they just go, all right, I'll see you tomorrow, or they move on to someone else because they just have so many people in their docket. So if they can provide kind of checking in on their patients on the back end and get a list of 20, 30 patients, it'll free up their time to focus on those people who really need that intense rehab. All right.
Thank you.